So we're in Fresno, California. We just finished installing a few items here at this tub. One being the tub drain itself. Uh, the pop-up is yours. It's a it's a full pop-up. We had a twist to turn, which is sitting right here. We're going to leave it for you in the event you want to change it out. We don't like them because they just kind of sit up there and flop around. But, and that's, but that's your old one. The drain assembly itself that's screwed into the shoe, that's brand new out of Home Depot. And then, of course, the gasket underneath the tub is brand new as well. We had water that was uh, penetrating the overflow gasket. And so what we've replaced, and, and we didn't, we, you know, while we're here, we're just going to replace gaskets. You got a shoe gasket, plus this one was split, the one underneath uh, had split, and they're just old, 30 years old. So brand new gasket there, brand new drain assembly, push, push to, to close button, that's yours. And then, of course, the cover plate is yours as well. The reason we left it on is there's a lot of scale and build it behind there. Uh, the one that we have is round, and, you know, you'd be into a cleaning project, so we just put that back in place. Um, you can replace it anytime you want, but there's a brand new foam gasket, and it's the wedge-shaped gasket that goes on all tubs that we've set since 1987. So uh, that's in place. Next thing we did is we took out the iron pipe nipple, the spout just it fell, it just fell right off the wall, and so we took it out. Uh, we didn't have a, the correct nipple. Five and a half wouldn't work. Six was too long, so we just converted to copper. And this comes with an insert, anyways. Most new spouts do. Uh, it's just copper with an O-ring. Uh, inside this insert, you slide it over and you, you got a set key underneath and you tighten and it's done. And then it's silicone back in. So, and this is in the grab bar. So, you know, you're trying to stand up out of this tub. That's not what you grab. Don't grab that. Don't grab the handle. Nothing. F figure it out. Put a grab rail in. But don't grab onto this. Um, so right now it's sealed and it's working good. Now, we haven't done anything with the valve, so that's good. We did replace the shower head for you straight out of Home Depot. So, uh, you know, the original charge was just for the repair for the tub leaking down through the ceiling. And so the additional charge would be for parts, which parts would be the tub spout, shower head, and labor, uh, which comes out to 125. So you're 350 right now. And then included in the price, we were going to come over here and cut this wall open and see if we can find out what the noise is about. And if we do find anything, we'll take another video when we're done.